Hey, what's going on everybody? Monty here. Today's video, I wanted to go over Horizon Zero Dawn um, system settings as well as um, FPS that you can receive uh, with 1080p. Uh, so I just want to go over that real quick. I did have a, a couple of people ask me that uh, if I can run a 1080p um, resolution for them for uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys real quick exactly my settings that I do have. I'm going to unplug you. Okay, let me get you zoomed in. There we go. All right, so this is my cam settings. I just started the computer up. 31 Celsius CPU, um, 35 Celsius on the GPU, 26 liquid on the CPU, 32 liquid on the GPU. Everything's set to performance on the cam. And let me see if I can manual focus this a little bit better. Okay, there we go. All right, so these are just uh, the settings, and I'll just verify with you. 5.2 gigahertz. Okay. Usage, all low. Cores, 30, 30. You can see all right here. So pretty good, all right? So we are going to... Uh, go ahead and reset that one. I'll minimize that. I'll minimize that. The game up. Okay, just so you guys can see temperatures as well as the game. Focus in. I really hate focus breathing on these cameras, so I'll try and get as best as I can. Also, we're going to put the frame rate on here. Top left of the screen, you can see that. Okay. So now we have the game loaded. I'm going to go ahead and show you the settings real quick that we're going to use for 1080p. I'm going to drop all this down. It's really going to look like crap. 1920 by 1080. Uh, we're going to do borderless. Okay, so this is 1080p. All my settings are still the same, so I'm at 1080p, borderless, as you can see up here. Graphics, we want to apply. I don't know why that did that. So 1080p. Render scale, I don't know why that got changed. Okay, so we're at 100%. Uh, render scale, 1920 by 1080 resolution. Graphics, ultra, 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 ambient occlusion for shits and giggles. Let's turn that on. Everything's on ultimate quality, as you can see here. All right, we're going to hit apply. Yes. Okay, we're going to get out of that. I'm going to hit continue, and I didn't really play a whole lot from yesterday from what you guys seen, so what you're going to see here is exactly um, where I left off at, but should give you a general idea exactly how 1080p would run with this kind of hardware. Um, you do hear... Uh, Hear some things starting to turn up a little, so. To learn. Tomorrow, we train again. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trail. Follow Eloy, quick. Okay, I might have to run this. In windowed. Now it's strange, it's because I should be getting more frames per second, which is really interesting. This looks so silly. Let me change it. Let me do 1920 by 1440. Game's still running good, but it just looks like crap. Okay. Still looks good, but it's definitely stretched out. Yeah, running this at 1080p on my monitor on this 3440 by 1440 um, just does not look if there was like an unlimited FPS. So 
So this is at 1080p, field of view 100, FPS limits unlimited, render scales at 100%. So I'm just trying to get an idea of why exactly that this. I'm getting the same frames per second, so it's probably bugged. It's probably be updated, I would imagine, in some kind of patch um, pretty soon. Uh, so it's really hard to say. I don't have a 1080p monitor, unfortunately, to test, but just looking at this, um, it seems to be the same frames per second that I'm getting on 3540 by 1440, which is interesting. It's because I figured that I'd be getting more rather than less. So see, this is me playing at 70, looks like low to mid 70 uh, frames per second. But with G-Sync on, obviously it's more than playable. So if I had to guess, I would say you would get more frames per second than what I'm getting. Probably at least over 100 at 1080p at minimum. Because what I'm getting here is I'm getting between 60 to 100 roughly. I mean, it's really 60 to 80, but it's like right now it's popping to 100. This is just a cutscene though, so it doesn't really matter. But... Yeah, it doesn't look like from what I'm able to do is to run it actually at 1080p because I'm having it at 1080p, but... See, full screen, 1080p. Um, really, the problem is is that... Okay, well, frames are over 100, so I guess there is that. So you might want to look up here, actually. I'm at 1080p full screen. Now, I do have FPS actually capped in NVIDIA control panel, but this is with everything. As you guys can see, um, this is on 1080p. Um, field of view 100 FPS limit unlimited render scale 100% full screen 120 Hertz vsync off Everything's on ultra so everything the best it can get on this game uh, Horizon Zero Dawn uh, like I said just came out. I Mean at 1080p it doesn't really look terrible, but it definitely looks stretched for sure um, I mean you could technically play the game like this, but it's I, I wouldn't do that uh, With 1080p monitor of course it won't look like this, but uh, since this is an ultra wide, it does stretch everything out, but I'm getting easily over 100. 100 average is probably what I would say. Um, more than playable. Uh, really hard to say. I can't. I can't say exactly that this is the frames per second that you would get with an actual 1080p monitor. You probably get a little bit more, but with ultra settings, this is probably almost an exact representation of what you would probably get. Um, so yeah. You know, if you guys had any questions about this, like I said, drop them down in the comments. Um, have no problem answering them, sharing the knowledge. But uh, running this at 1080p, it seems like average. I'm getting 100. And let's see if I can. So, yeah, I am definitely getting over 117 frames per second. Of course, this is. Yeah, well, let me go up here, will it? So it looks like frames per second you're going to get over 100 on 1080p. Yeah, easily. Easily over 100 at 1080p, for sure. On ultra settings. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, hope you guys liked today's video. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below. I'll go ahead and answer them as soon as I can. Um, running at 1080p, it's working just fine. Like I said, ultra settings... So not really any problems with it. Um, you're definitely going to hit over 100 frames per second on Ultra. And, you know, you don't even have to play at Ultra. You could turn ambient occlusion off. Let's turn that off and see what exactly what I get. So just moving, I'm getting, as you see up here, I'm getting a little bit more frames just by turning that off, ambient occlusion. Um, some of these settings you don't have to have on Ultra. You can have a lot of this. Um, let's turn FXAA on. So like right now, now look, I'm getting almost getting easily, it seems like the average is 110 now. So just by dropping a couple things, a couple settings, as you can see here, my FPS is shooting up. So like I could live with that, you know, like um, 
you know, FXAA, it's it's decent enough. I mean, if you want to go sharper, of course, you could turn on TAA, but like this is this looks pretty good and it's smooth. Um, so I like that perfect balance of the image quality, but also like smooth gameplay. Because if it's jittery or it's slow, it drags slow. That's that's not good. Uh, so I'd just rather turn a couple settings down. And like I said, I still got everything else on ultra. I mean, shoot, you could turn everything on high, right? FXA on, motion blur, amulet collusion off. I'm probably sit at 120 this whole time now. Yeah, look at that. Easy. It's not going to show 120 up here. It's because I have, I'm capped at 117 in the NVIDIA control panel because uh, this is a 120 hertz monitor. But as you can see, I'm pretty much staying at that. So you could easily play this 1080p high settings and cap out at 120 frames plus. No problem. That's pretty good considering, uh, you know, for a game like, more or less just for a graphical game like this, like, it seems really, really optimized, guys. So, um, 1080p at high to ultra settings, I mean, if you're willing to sacrifice a little image, uh, you can definitely um, get the 120 frames per second the whole time. Uh, but if you guys were just wanting to uh, uh, up the image quality, again, you're still getting over 100 frames. Plus, if you have G-Sync, it makes it even more... Uh, better as far as uh, fluidity goes. I mean, just moving around, like this is really smooth. There's just no lag or drag at all to it. Um, but yeah, no, definitely, um, definitely playable on 1080p. So, anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Comment down uh, down below. I'll go ahead and answer any questions you guys might have. But 1080p is definitely playable easily. Um, I mean, this is what I'm playing on, uh, 10, 10900K Intel, uh, 10 core to overclock to 5.2 gigahertz, as well as RTX 2080 Ti, uh, 32 gigs of C16 uh, G skill RAM. <laughs> this is really overkill for 1080p, but just to give you a general idea, it's definitely a lot more. I would say probably the frames per second that I'm getting increase actually over 3540 or 3440 by 1440 is probably actually, I don't know, 30, 30 frames minimum. I think I was getting before 70, 70 to 80 frames per second, 3440 resolution. Now, since I switched to 1080p, I'm actually getting, as you guys could see, I'm getting almost 120 up here. Um, and the only thing that I changed was 1080p. Now, all this stuff is on high, but, I mean, just moving everything to ultra, I mean, I'm still getting 100 frames, over 100 frames, 110, 105, 110. So, easily playable. Frame-wise, I would probably say... Um, probably 40 to 50 frames more per second than I'm getting than a 1440p uh, 35 or, I'm getting about 50 40 to 50 more frames per second playing at 1080p over 3440 by 1440 that is a huge jump but like I said it is 1080p um, also we'll go ahead um, and I've only it looks like on the camera this has been running for about 15 minutes so just to give you an idea let's go back to let's go back to the desktop here And I just want to load up a, a couple things that I had running this whole time. So there's Cam. And I could just go over these stats with you guys real quick. Um, so this was just 15 minutes of running. And I know it's 15 minutes. It's not really a whole lot. But it should give you a general idea exactly what, um, what, what, what really to expect from it, right? So um, here I have all the, um, all the results on Hardware Info 64. I just usually let this run in the background just to get a general idea. 5.2 gigahertz, you can see that, 1.335 volts. Uh, I don't know how accurate the uh, voltage uh, monitoring is on uh, Hardware Info, but there you go. Uh, let's see here, core ratio is still at 52. Um, as you can see here, core, um, core 0 through 9, um, 52, 59, 55, 59, 55, 53, 57, 52. Um, so... Not really getting that hot on the CPU. Now that's probably jumped up. Um, it's because I'm playing at 1080p and that's going to use more CPU. But you get the gist of it. Still, that's still nothing. Um, let's see here. Throttling, thermal throttling. That's all set to no. You can see that. Uh, GPU, let's see here. CPU, that shows 59. That just shows, that looks like an overall. Uh, let's see here. Is this usage? Okay. All right, so let's see here. Uh, 
GPU, uh, NVIDIA, as you can see here, uh, max temperature is 58 degrees Celsius. So um, just looking at this, guys, like that's still, this is a, just a regular 2080 Ti, just still like, that's pretty pretty amazing. Now this is with almost two year old thermal paste. So I will be swapping that out in one of these next videos. Uh, so it's something to look out for, but yeah, 58 Celsius, that's pretty good. Um, that and my CPU is only at 50, looks like one of the max temperatures 59. So 58, 59 on the CPU and GPU together, playing both at 3440 by 1440 and 1080p. That's really, really good. Those are the temperatures you're gonna expect out of this if you do have the setup like mine. Like I said, it is a little bit different uh, than what most people run and my my computer setup does definitely look a little goofy. Um, it's like, kind of like Frankenstein, right? It's because it's not really uh, aesthetically pleasing like to the eye but like it, it i got it for the performance right so you could see the performance right here everything is working just fine um temp wise is really really low so those that's what you're going to be expecting out of out of horizon zero dawn at 1080p and 3440 by 1440 anyways hope you guys like the video like comment down uh down below uh subscribe as well uh, like i said i'm all ears so if you guys got any questions for me about the setup about anything really uh go ahead and drop them down in the comments i'll go ahead and answer them as quickly as i can uh, anyways guys uh thanks for watching